All praises, all praises. And first off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Right. And the brother Shapar brought it out mighty in the spirit. We're going to keep rolling on with it. Right. All right, let me get Isaiah chapter 24, verse 10. All right? Let me get Isaiah 24, verse 10. Go back to, uh, let me get Proverbs 3 and 31. All right? We're going to bring that out again. All right? So bring out what you got, Isaiah 24, verse 10. Book of Isaiah chapter 24, verse 10. Uh -huh. The city of confusion. The what? The city of confusion. What is America? The city of confusion. So the Lord said the city of confusion. Right? This place is the city of confusion. Right, right. Right? All you see is grown men portraying themselves to be women. Right. Grown women portraying themselves to be men. Right. right? Look at all these signs out here. You he says Wiley Pride. Right? What do we have to be prideful about as being so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Right? America was systematically designed to destroy our people. Right? To poison our children. Right? Why do you think every time you turn on the TV, all you see is homosexual commercials? All you see is homosexual cartoons for your children to watch. Now they got homosexual books in your kids' school. Reading your kids the gay VCs. Right? The Lord said this is the city of confusion. Right? Every time we in public, Every time you at the damn grocery store, all you see is young men dressed like little girls. Right. Right? You starting to see this more and more. Right? Every time I'm in public, I see a young brother that's a damn homosexual. Right? And who do we have to blame for that? Right? This wicked ass nation called America. Right? So read that part again. Come. Read that again from the top. Come. The city of confusion. The what? The city of confusion. What is America? The city of confusion. So this is the city of confusion, right? Now they got it to where you could go to the damn doctor and you could get surgery and a man could transform into a damn woman, right? You could go to the uh, damn uh, plastic surgeon and he could transform a woman to a man, right? That's why the Lord said this is the city of confusion, right? You can't tell the difference between a man and a woman, right? Read. The city of confusion is broken down. It's what? It's broken down. So the Lord said this place has to be broken down. The same way that Sodom and Gomorrah was broken down. The same way that the kingdom of Egypt was broken down. Right? Because this place is filthy, it's polluted, and it's disgusting in the eyes of the Lord. Right. Right? Keep reading. Every house is shut up. Right? That no man may come in. Right? There is crying for one. There is what? There is a crying for one. So in that dead destruction, it's going to be a crime for one. See, everybody out here pleasing the lust of their flesh. Everybody out here having a good damn time. Right? You got homosexuals holding hands. Right? You got lesbians out here together. Right? You got our woman holding hand in hand with the other nations. Right? Eve out here with her damn old ass sugar daddy. Right? We seen one of our sisters with an old ass Edomite. Right? Look like he was there uh, 85 years old, man. Right. right? Right? But that's the state of our people, man. Right? America has destroyed the minds of our people. Right? right? So keep reading. Come. There is a, there is crying for wine in the streets. Right? All joy is darkened. Oh, uh, what? All joy oh, is darkened. Right? The mirth of the land is gone. Right? And that's the service of the Lord. We can't wait for that day, man. We can't wait for the day when we don't have to see another homosexual walking upon the face of the earth. Right. right? We can't wait for the day when we don't have to see another damn lesbian walking upon the face of the earth. Right? right? Because that's wicked and it's confusion in the eyes of the Lord. Right? So let me get that uh yeah, Proverbs 3 and 31. Right? Go back to Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Right? So the brother brought it out and we're gonna continue to bring it out for our people. Right? So bring that up. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Oh, bro. envy thou not the oppressor. And that's the issue with our people. Our people want to envy their oppressor. That's why our people are comfortable with partaking in the customs of these other nations. Right? That's not a part of our custom to be a homosexual. Right. The Lord said, I am the God of the living and not the God of the dead. Right. What type of life comes from a man being with another man? Right. What type of life comes from a woman being with another woman, right? That's a damn disgrace in the eyes of the Most High. And this place will pay for its actions, right, right? right? So our people cannot partake in these wicked customs, right? See, all these other nations, they can do what the hell they want to do. We don't give a damn about them. 
We didn't come out here for the so-called white man. We didn't come out here for the damn Asians. We didn't come out here for the damn Japanese. We came out here for our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Right? See, if the so-called white man want to be a damn faggot, if he want to be a homosexual, he can do what the hell he want to do. We don't give a damn about it. Right? But for our people, we are not supposed to be partaking in these customs. Right? So we got to get from the top. The book of Proverbs, chapter uh, 3, verse 31. Uh -huh. Envy thou not the oppressor. Right, me. And choose none of his ways. No, we can be a homosexual like the white man. Choose none of his ways. Oh, we can celebrate gay pride like the white man. <coughs> choose none of his ways. But what about gay pride, man? Choose none of his ways. The Lord said choose none of his ways, man. Right? Because of the ways of the so-called European is nothing but death and destruction. Right. Right? What good has the so-called white man taught our people? All he taught you how to do is be a damn murderer. Right. How to be a damn faggot. Yeah. How to be a damn lesbian. Right? How to be a sinner in the eyes of the most high. Right? That's the only thing that he taught our people. Right? So keep reading. For the forward is abomination to the Lord. Right? That was it on that. Let me get Leviticus chapter 18 verse 1. Let me get Leviticus chapter 18 verse 1. Right? And this is the lowest state of our people. Right? Who taught the so-called black woman that it was okay to come out here half naked, right? Right. Who told them that, right? This is what America promotes. America promotes all type of fornication. Right. America promotes all type of uh, immoral sexual acts. Right. Right. Now you can be a damn whore. You can be a damn prostitute. You can have a damn OnlyFans. You can be a damn homosexual, right? Any and everything that's wicked is promoted in America. Get off, sister. Right? And sister, you got to separate from your damn enemy. Get out. Right? Her people had our people in captivity. Her people had your people as slaves. Right? You see that? But our people don't think this is serious. Our people think this is a damn game. Right? What in your right mind would make you hold hand in hand with the same people that murdered you? That stole your land. That stole your identity. That continues to rape, rob, and murder your people on an everyday basis. Right? He reading. Uh, Book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, right? O house of Israel. Oh, who? O house of Israel. So, like I said, we are here for the house of Israel. Right? The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Lord said, Hearken unto my word. Read. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith who? Thus saith the Lord. Oh, read. Learn not the way of the heathen. Wait, what is gay pride month? Learn, Learn not the way, way of the heathen. heathen. What is Juneteenth? Learn, Learn not, not the way, way of the heathen. The 4th of July? Learn not the way of the heathen. The Lord said, Learn not the ways of the heathen, man. Right. This is not a part of our culture. Right. This is not a part of our custom. Right. The Lord said, Learn not the ways of these other nations. Right? Homosexuality and gay pride is the ways of the other nations. Right? right? That goes back to the ancient Egyptians. Right? The Greeks and the Romans. Right? When you read the Egyptian Book of the Dead, it tells you that grown men was having sex with little boys. Right. And that's exactly what America promotes, uh -huh. right? Right? When you go to Washington, D.C., right by the White House, they got ancient Greco-Roman statues with grown men uh, uh, butt naked with little boys sitting on their left, right? They put it right in your face every day, right? Right? That's the type of spirit that America has, right? The spirit of sodomy. Right? The spirit of Egypt. The spirit of ancient Greece and Rome. Right? Can you read it? Uh, learn not the way of the heathen. Right? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. Right? Can you read it? For the heathen are dismayed at them. Right? Read. For the customs of the people are. For the what? For the customs of the people. What is gay pride? For the customs of the people. What is LGBTQ? For the customs of the people. And when you look around America, all you see is the customs of the people. Not the customs that the Most High God gave to our people but the customs of the other nations, right? Just take a look around, right? The Lord said this place is the city of confusion, right? right? These are the customs of the other nations to, to promote and to glorify all type of sin and all type of sexual immorality, right? Read. For the customs of the people are vain. Right, read. For one cut of a tree out of the forest. That was it on that. All right, let me get Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. Let me bring out what you got. The book of Leviticus, chapter 18, and verse 2. Right? Speak unto the children of Israel. Right, read. And say unto them, 
I am Yahweh, your power. After the doings of the land of Egypt. After the what? After the doings of the land of Egypt. After the doings of the land of Egypt, right? What were the doings of the land of Egypt, right? When you study the ancient kingdom of the Egyptians, right, they was in a witchcraft, right? They was in a homosexuality. They was into idolatry, right? And that's the same thing that America promotes, right? They promote all type of idolatry with these wicked holidays, right? The celebration of the New Year, the celebration of Halloween, the celebration of Thanksgiving and Christmas, right? These are the ways of the other nations, right? These are the doings after the land of Egypt, read. After the doings of the land of Egypt, right? Wherein ye dwell, shall ye not do? Shall ye what? Shall, shall ye not, not do? do? Right, and we just I just told you about the Egyptian Book of the Dead where the Egyptians was practicing homosexuality and pedophilia, right? And that's the ways of America, right? America gives uh, these homosexuals all type of rights, right? Now a grown man that identifies as a woman could go into the same bathroom as your daughter, right? Now a, a woman that, uh, that thinks she's a man, she can use the same bathroom as your son, right? America promotes all type of homosexuality and pedophilia, right? You see that? Right? So keep reading. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whither I bring you, ye shall not do. Right? Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Neither shall ye do what? Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances. Right, and these are their ordinances, right? Legalizing homosexuality, legalizing same-sex marriage. Right? You see that? Read. Ye shall do my judgments. Right? And keep my ordinances. And do what? And keep my, my ordinances. ordinances. And my ordinances. And the Lord said the man is supposed to be with a woman. Right? The man and the woman were supposed to come together and to be fruitful and multiply. Right? But America promotes everything that's detrimental to our society. America promotes everything that's detrimental to our people. Right? Read. Keep my ordinances. To walk therein, I am Yahweh, your power. He shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. He shall do what? He shall live in them. He shall live in them. Right? So the Lord said, keep my laws and commandments. Right? Keep my judgments. Right? Let me ask the average American citizen, what is the judgment according to the Bible for being a homosexual? Right? What would happen back during the time of Moses for being a homosexual, right? We're going to go into the Bible and show the people, right? Bring that up. The book of Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. Uh -huh. If a man also lie with a mankind... So read that again from the top. No, Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind... So according to the laws of God, the Lord said if a man also lie with another man, right? The same thing that America promotes. Right, we in so-called gay pride month, right? You got the LGBTQ parade, right? So the Lord said, if a man or a woman lay with another woman, what's gonna happen? As he lieth with a woman, right? Both of them have- No, no just one of them. Both of them. The Lord said both of them, read, have committed an abomination. Wait, what is homosexuality? An abomination. What is gay pride? An abomination. abomination. LGBTQ? An, an abomination. abomination. The Lord said these things are an abomination, right? You see that? The Lord said these things are an abomination. A man being with another man is an abomination. A woman being with another woman is an abomination. Right? Read. They shall surely be put to death. Wait, they shall what? They shall surely be put to death. Now they should get their own rights. They shall surely be put to death. Now they should have their own parade. They shall surely be put to death. And that's the difference between the kingdom of heaven and America. Right? In the kingdom of heaven, the Lord said, the homosexuals shall get put to death, right. right? But in America, they promote all type of sin and all type of wickedness, right? So that was it on that? All right, keep reading. The blood shall be upon them, right? So the Lord said, if you are a homosexual, you shall surely get put to death and your blood shall be upon you, man, right? right? But in America, they promote this wickedness, man, telling this, telling a man it's okay to be with another man, right? It's okay for same-sex marriage, right? It's okay for the woman to uh, be married to another woman, right? How do you procreate?
by being uh, with another woman, if you're a woman? How do you procreate if you're a man being with another man? Right? That's common damn sense, right? But you go find out that common sense is not so common in the sta uh, uh, streets of America. Right. Right? You see that? If you had common damn sense, you would know that two men can't bring forth life. Two women can't bring forth life. Right? So bring out what you got. All right, bring that up. All right, bring that up. The book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. And that's talking about spiritually. Right? Our people are spiritually dead in America. Right? Because our people do not know how to follow God. Our people do not know how to serve the Lord. All our people know are the wicked customs, the wicked paganism that they learn from their slave master, right? That they learn from the same man that enslaved them. Right. Right? So keep reading. Then their bodies shall lie in the in the street of the great city, uh -huh. which spiritually which, what? which spiritually uh -huh. is called Sodom and Egypt. The Lord said America is spiritually known as Sodom and Egypt. Right? Why did the Lord say America is known as Sodom? Who was they practicing in ancient Sodom and Gomorrah? The same thing that they're practicing in America. That's right. Homosexuality, lesbianism, right? Gay pride, right? The Lord said this place, uh, this place is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. Right. Right? So go back to where I had you at. Where I had you at. Uh, Kyle, let, let me get Job chapter 9, verse 24. Right? And let me get the book of, uh, let me get uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 4, verse uh, 13. First Maccabees 4 and 13. Uh, so lock it here, second. So bring that out, Job 9, 24. The book of Job, chapter 9 and verse 24. Uh, the earth is given. The what? The earth is given. The Lord said this whole entire planet Earth was given unto who? Unto the hand of the wicked. Unto the what? Unto the hand of the wicked. Unto the who? Unto the hand of the wicked. So the Lord said this whole entire earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Right? What, what nation of people rule the earth? What nation of people run the earth? Right? What nation of people is passing all the bills for uh, to legalize homosexuality? Right. What nation of people is passing all the bills to legalize pedophilia? Right. right? Who is doing that? Right? You gonna come to find out that it's your friendly neighborhood white man, right? right. The damn devil, not the Bible speaks of. That's right. The same man that does everything that's contrary in the eyes of God. Bring it out, right? The Lord said the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, right? You see that? Read. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, right? And he covered the faces of the judges thereof. And we got a picture of uh, white Jesus out here. Yeah, All right, come, on. right? So look at this. Hey, the Lord said he covered the faces of the judges thereof, right? Who covered the face of our Lord and Savior and told our people that so-called Jesus Christ is a white man, right? Who did that, right? You see that? And that's why our people think it's okay to partake in these customs. That's why our people think it's okay to be a damn homosexual. That's why our women think it's okay to be a damn lesbian, Bring it out. right? Because all their life, they've been taught to worship this white image, right? What comes with this image, right? In the church, they tell you that this man said it's okay to partake in wickedness, right? Yeah, you can you can be uh, whatever you want to be, right? Sweet Jesus, go forgive you for all your sins. You don't have to repent. You don't have to keep the commandments, right? You just gotta have faith on white Jesus and he go forgive you for all your sins. That's what they teach you in the church, right? But according to the Bible, the Lord said all those that partake in homosexuality shall surely get put to death. Right? You see that? So bring that up. The book of Romans chapter 1 verse 25. Uh -huh. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? So the Lord said, who changed the truth of God into a lie? According to the Bible, the Lord said the truth is the laws and commandments. Right? right? But what are the laws of America? The laws of God tell you that if a man is with another man, then he shall surely get put to death. Right. But the laws of America say if a man wouldn't be with another man, then it's okay. Man. Right? So the Lord said, who changed the truth of God into a lie? Read. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Uh -huh. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Right? See, our people want to serve their creature. Our people want to do everything that the so-called white man tell them to do. 
but God didn't say it was okay to be a homosexual, right? Nowhere in the Bible can you read me a scripture where God said homosexuality and lesbianism is okay, right? You see that? But they, these are the customs that America promotes, right? Read. Who is blessed forever. Amen. Right? That was it on that? Come. Yeah, I got it. I can read 26. All right, come. Bend it up. Verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. Right? And the Lord gave our people up unto vile affections. Right? That's why you see so many young black men walking around effeminate. Right? We just seen a young brother dressed like a damn female. Right. And he had all types of weave in his head. Right. Right? What type of madness is that, man? Right. What type of young man wears damn wigs in his hair, man? Right? Brother had on the damn uh, poetic justice bot braids, man. Damn, man. That was all type of madness, man. Right? But this this is what America promotes, right? Keep reading. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even that woman that changed the natural use into that which is against nature. Is what? It's against nature. What is being a lesbian? It's against nature. What is gay pride? It's against nature. Being a homosexual? It's against nature. The Lord said these things are against nature, man. Right? And like I said, we are here to wake up our people, right? All these other nations can partake in this madness. We don't give a damn about them. We came out here to wake up our people, right? So if you are so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, and you partake in homosexuality, right? We ask you this day to repent. Right? We came out here to give you the message of the Lord. The Lord said now it is high time to repent and return back to his commandments. That's right. Right? Before death and destruction come to America. Right? That was it on that? Alright, so uh we got that uh second Maccabees uh, four thirteen. Alright, come. Alright, bring it up. The book of Joshua, chapter twenty-four, verse twenty. Right. If ye forsake the Lord, if you do what? If ye forsake the Lord, if you partake in homosexuality, and if you celebrate gay pride, you have what? If ye forsake the Lord, right, and serve strange gods, and do what? And serve strange gods, uh -huh. then he will turn and do you hurt. He will do what? He will do you hurt. And the Lord have done our people hurt. Uh -huh. That's why our people are at the lowest state, right? That's why our people are living at the bottom. That's why our people are getting shot down in the streets. That's why our people are getting a damn knee on their neck for eight minutes by the damn police, right? The Lord has destroyed our people because our people uh, continue to partake in his wickedness, right? So keep reading. He will do you hurt and consume you. And do what? And consume you. Look at our people. Our people are consumed, man, right? Our people are at a lower state. How many young men we seen out here that's bugged out on drugs, right? You got damn 20 year old drug addicts out here, man. That's a damn shame, right? You got women out here that's drug addicts that's pregnant, right? This is the lowest state that the Most High God has put upon his people for being disobedient to his commandments, right? That was it on that? All right, so uh, let me get uh, the dishes of Esther 14 and 15. Bring that up. Book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. My people are my what? My people uh -huh. are destroyed for uh, what? Are destroyed right? for a lack of knowledge. For a what? For a lack of knowledge. So the Lord said our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, man. Right? If you think homosexuality is okay, then you have a lack of knowledge. Right? How is that beneficial to our neighborhoods? How is that beneficial to our nation? How is that beneficial to our community? Right? How are we gonna raise a nation of strong men if all our men want to be homosexual? Yeah, that's right. Right? How are we gonna raise an army up if all our men are weak and effeminate? Right. Right? The Lord said, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right? So bring out what I had you at, uh, uh second Matthew. 14 and 15. The book of Second Maccabees, chapter 4, verse 13. Right? Now such was the height. Of Greek fashion. Of what? Of Greek fashion. Of what? Of Greek fashion. So the Lord said, such was the height of Greek fashions, right? What are Greek fashions, right? We're going to go into that history about the certain customs that the Greeks and the Romans used to keep, right? All this gay pride and all this 
oh, uh, all these homosexual parades, this ain't nothing new, man. Right. Right? All these customs was uh, partaking in ancient times. Check it out. Right? And we gonna bring out that history for our people. Right? So let me bring out this article for you, right? So I wanna read this article, right? Going into the history of the Greeks and the Romans, right? So the name of this article, it says pedophilia in ancient Greece and Rome, right? And that's what America promotes, right? When they set up uh, gay pride month, right? When they set up the LGBTQ parade, right? They are promoting homosexuality and pedophilia, right? right? So let me read this article right, real quick. It says, while the practice of pedophilia today is a morally wrong and illegal act, some of the ancient Greeks and Romans, right? So who are the ancient Greeks and the Romans, right? What race of people ruled over those kingdoms, right? right? It was the so-called Caucasians, right? The so-called white man, right? He was the one that ruled over the kingdom of the Greeks and the Romans, right? So it says that some of the ancient Greeks and Romans regarded it as a common practice, right? So it was a common practice for a man to be with a little boy. For a grown man to have a, a, a intimate relationship with another man, right? And these are the customs that our people want to partake in, right? It says, and sometimes something to be celebrated, right? So you can't make this up, man. Ain't that what they celebrate during Gay Pride Month, yep. right? They celebrate the 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 worship uh, the worshiping of the Greek and the Roman gods, man. Right? That's right. Right, right, right. All these uh, people out here partaking in homosexuality, man. Right. So it says that pedophilia was common in Greek and Roman mythology and daily life, right? And even when you look at ancient Greek uh, pottery, right, all you see is images of grown men sleeping with other grown men, man. Huh? Right? Hey, man, that is disgusting, man. That's right. right? And these are the customs that our people want to partake in in these last days, man. Huh? Right? So I'm going to read a little bit more of this article. It's, it says pedophilia is defined as a sexual attraction to children, right? And America is actively trying to pass bills, right, to promote pedophilia, man, huh? right? Right? It says in modern times, pedophilia is seen as mortally abhorrent behavior, right? It says, and it is defined a psychiatric disorder, right? I think on pedophilia, either by obtaining pornographic material of children, right? And that's what America promotes, right, during Gay Pride Month, huh? right? All these ancient homosexual customs, right? So look, the Lord said this was the height of Greek fashions, right? Even in the land of Israel, you got the so-called Jewish man that claimed to be God's chosen people Right, they had the biggest gay pride parade. Homosexuality, right? These are customs that our people learned when we came to this land, right? So can you read it? Through the exceeding profaneness of what? The exceeding profaneness right. of Jason, right. the ungodly wretch, right. and no high priest, that the priest had no courage to serve anymore at the altar, but despising the temple and neglecting the sacrifices hastening to be partakers of the unlawful allowance in the place of exercise right. after the game of discus called them forth not setting by the honors of their fathers right and the honors of our fathers are to be kings and priests upon the face of the earth right, right. but in, in this modern day society they teach our men that it's okay to be weak and effeminate right? That's right. to be a damn homosexual That's right. to be a damn drag queen Man. right I think they got a, uh, they used to have a show on TV called uh, Rouge Paul Drag Race. Uh, right. <laughs> right? You got grown ass men on stage having a damn beauty contest dressed up like damn females, right? Right? Right, right you see that? <laughs> That's madness, man. Right? So the Lord said these are Greek and Roman customs, man. Right? So read that part again. Not setting by the honors of their fathers. But like in the glory of the Grecians, the what? The glory of the Grecians. What is gay pride? The glory of the Grecians. And this is the glory of the Grecians, man. Right? 
And I'm going to pull out another article, right, about how the Greeks and the Romans partake, uh, used to partake in homosexuality, right? So in this article, it says, during these times, homosexuality was seen as normal and necessary due to the power dynamic at play between an older, dominant man and a young one. You see that? So, hey, look, man. All these heathens partake in pedophilia and homosexuality, man. Right? You see that? And these are the things that our people want to promote and glorify, man. Right? So keep reading. Read down to verse 17. No. But like in the glory of the Grecians. And this is the glory of the Grecians, man. Hey, the Greeks used to have certain festivals and feast days when they used to gather together in the streets just like this. Right? They used to gather together in the streets. Everybody used to get drunk. And then they used to partake in all type of uh, fornication, man. Right. right? Where you think you get orgies from, right? Where you think you get all these uh, swinger parties? That come from the Greeks, man, right? The Greeks used to uh, have all type of uh, sexual orgies, man, right? You see that? And these are the things that our people want to partake in, man, right? So keep reading. Come. But like in the glory of the Grecians, best of all, right. by reason whereof, Sword calamity came upon them. And that's why sword calamity has come upon our people, right? That's why our people are living at a low estate, right? That's why our people are in province, right? That's why our people are at the bottom of the barrel, huh? Because they want to walk hand in hand with these damn devils, huh? Right? Right? Our people have to wake up, right? You see that? But hey, look, look at look at that, man. <laughs> That's all America has for our people, right? Everybody want to join hand in hand, right? Right, you see that? Right, bring it up. <laughs> but they had them to be their enemies and their avengers, right? Whose customs they followed so earnestly. Whose what? Whose customs they followed so earnestly. And now our people are following the customs of the, of the nation, right. Right? 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 Hey, if America never said that it was okay Right to partake in homosexuality, our people will never do this stuff. That's right, right, kid. right, That's right. Right, but the reason why our people partake in these customs is because the so-called white man in his kingdom promote this madness. Right? right, right. That's why in the kingdom of heaven we gonna have a society and a government that's not gonna partake in this wickedness. Right, right. right? Hey, sister, come over here and hear the words of the Lord, sister. Right, Afro. Hey, sister, come get the words of the Lord, sister. Yeah, right, hey, you, come, come over here real quick. We got to have certain festivals and feast days where they used to gather together in the streets just like this, right? They used to gather together in the streets. Everybody used to get drunk, and then they used to partake in all type of uh, fornication, right? right? Where you think you get orgies from, right? Where you think you get all these uh, swinger parties? That come from the Greeks, man, huh? right? The Greeks used to uh, have all type of uh, sexual orgies, man. Right? You see that? And these are the things that our people want to partake in, man. Right? So keep reading. Uh, but like in the glory of the Grecians, best of all, right? by reason whereof, sword calamity came upon them. And that's why sword calamity has come upon our people. Right? That's why our people are living at a low estate. Right? That's why our people are in poverty. Right? That's why our people are at the bottom of the barrel, man. Because they want to walk hand in hand with these damn devils, man. Right? Right? Our people have to wake up. Right? You see that? But hey, look. Look at look at that, man. <laughs> That's all America has for our people. Right? Everybody want to join hand in hand. Right? Right? You see that? Right, bring it up. <laughs> but they had them to be their enemies and their avengers. Right. Whose customs they followed so earnestly. Whose what? Whose customs they followed so earnestly. And now our people are following the customs of the other nation. Right. Man. Right. Right. And if America never said that it was okay, right, to partake in homosexuality, our people would never do this stuff. That's man. right, Jay. Right. That's right. Right. But the reason why our people partake in these customs is because the so-called white man in his kingdom promote this madness. Right. Right? That's why in the kingdom of heaven, we gonna have a society and a government that's not gonna partake in this wickedness. Right. Right? 
Hey, sister, come over here and hear the words of the Lord, sister. Right? Afro. Hey, sister, come get the words of the Lord, sister. Yeah, right. Yeah, you come come over here real quick. We got a we got a word for you, sister. Hey, sister. Hey, sister, the Lord said you gotta repent and put on some clothes, sister. Right? Madness, man. Right? Who told her that the whole world wanna see her ashes, man? That's madness, man. The Lord said our women are supposed to be doing in mighty superior, man. Right? But in America, you can be whatever type of freak you want to be, man. You can be a damn uh, whore. You can be a lesbian. You can be a damn faggot, right? These are the things that's promoted in America, man. Right? Can you read it? Come. Whose custom they followed so earnestly. Hey, sis, come over here and hear the words of the Lord, sister. Come over here and get the truth for the Lord, sister. You ain't got nothing to do but hearken into the words of the Lord, man. That's right. Right? What's more important than listening to the words of God? Right. What's more important than learning how to receive everlasting life? Right. What's more important on learning how to receive the kingdom of heaven? Right? Ain't nothing out here but death and destruction, man. Right. Ain't nothing out here but confusion and madness, man. Right? Read. Huh. Whose custom they followed so earnestly. Right? And unto whom they desired to be like in all things. Now people desire to be like their oppressor in all things, man. Right? Like I said, these are not our customs. Right? Being a damn faggot and a homosexual is not the customs of our people. Right. That's the customs of the so-called white men. Right. Of the Greeks and the Romans. Right? So our people are not supposed to partake in this madness, man. Right? So keep reading. Verse 17. For it is not a light thing right. to do wickedly against the laws of God. Right? And we just read in the laws of God, if you are a homosexual, you are supposed to get put to death, huh? Right, read. But the time following shall declare these things. Right? That was it. Yeah. Alright, come. On. So bring out what where I had you at. Right? And let me get the book of Isaiah, right? Chapter uh three and verse nine. Let me get Isaiah three and nine. What's going on, man? You got a question? You got a question? You learning? So, how you feel about the message that we're bringing out? Thank you guys right here. Some good okay, we're getting some good points. Alright, so Kinoch man married Jezebel, right? Kinoch man, he followed Yahweh. Okay. Jezebel followed Baal. Okay. And I'll share it. Got it. What? Okay. What's your point on this? So, Jezebel killed a man, innocent man, took his vineyard, gave it to the king. Okay. I'm saying, like, what is your like, what is your real quick? saying there was confusion uh -huh. inside the kingdom. Okay. Things start going wrong because they were no longer following Yahweh. Okay. Right. 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 So, what happened to him? What happened to him? Okay, okay, all right. Hey, so, but the thing is, though, Seven I asked her, hold on, real quick. Who threw her out the window? Okay. She got eaten by her hungry dog. Okay, but the thing is, though, what does that have to do with it? I asked you a simple question. I said, how do you feel about the message that we're bringing out right now? You done went to somewhere else. Well, how do you feel about it? Okay, some point, so, so what, what point did you try to make about bringing that out about this? What, what does that have to do about it? Uh, just the spirit. Spirit of spirit. Oh, okay. All right. It's also the spirit of uh, before Babylon. Okay. It's the spirit of Okay. All right, so the thing is, we're going to get to the point, right? Who is God's chosen people, according to the Bible? Do you believe that you can receive salvation? I, I think so. I have him. Yes, I, I, I am going to steal every night. All right, so let me ask you this real quick, right? What is your nationality according to the Bible? Right, what is your what is your ethnicity? You say you're who? I'm of Israel. You of Israel? So your father is, is your father's of Israel. So you you are uh, so called like you Israel. That's what I'm saying. Like, what is your what is your race? Yahweh. No, I'm, I'm look. 
What is your race? Okay, I'm of spirit. I'm very much not of this world. Okay, but we ask, but I'm asking you a simple question. Can you answer that question? What is your race? What is your ethnicity? You're Caucasian, right? So do you think being a Caucasian man, are you qualified to receive salvation according to the Bible? Yes, you are. According to what scripture? God talks to you every day. God talks to you every day. God speaks to me every day. Are you sure about that? Yes. What did God tell you? I'm interested. I'm curious. What did God tell you? God told me to come up here and talk to you. God said, don't be scared. Don't have no fear. Okay. There's no fear. There's one love in this world. Okay. Share it. Okay. 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 So who is, like I asked you, who is God's chosen people according to the Bible? Because according to the Bible, we can prove to you that only God's chosen people are qualified and receive a salvation. Right. So if you are not of God's holy seed, you are I not the qualified. Root of Adam, uh -huh. root of David. Oh, are you of the, the root of David? Of Jacob. Are you yes, sure? Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. So let me get uh, Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. Yeah. All right, Book of Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. Uh -huh. I yeah. almost brought my staff today. I did it. Yeah, oh, man. Oh, oh, Hold oh, on one second. I almost brought my staff today. Uh -huh. And I said, no, no, that'd be silly. I'll look silly. Don't go here for the staff. I missed my calling. He said, bring me. Right, I did not bring my hey, staff. Hey, my man. Hey, my man. You ain't missed your calling. You got yes, your man. calling right here. I'm still breaking down. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 1. Uh -huh. Yet now here. O Jacob, my servant. Oh, who? O Jacob, my servant. Who is God's servant? O Jacob, my servant. The Lord said, O Jacob, my servant, read. And Israel. And who? And Israel. Israel. Everybody. And Israel. And Israel, read. Whom I have chosen. Whom I have what? Whom I have chosen. chosen. Who is God's chosen people according to the Bible? The nation of Israel. Like we just read in that verse, right? So we're going to break it down for you because obviously you don't understand. Right? So, no, you don't understand my life. I'm no, telling I, you, I am the no, you are. The, I am the root of no, I'm gonna show you. Who you I am the root I'm gonna show you who, you who you the root of, right? Let me get John chapter eight verse forty four. No, I'm saying me personally. I don't care about white people or black people. I'm saying me personally. All right, well, we, we only care about the words of the Lord. We gonna show you what God said. Yeah, let me get John chapter eight verse forty four, right? Because you are not the root of David, right? We are the root of David, right? I've seen Bathsheba, buddy. I am. Yeah, he bugged out, man. Bring that up. The book of John, chapter 8, and verse 44. Ye are of your father. Ye are of what? Ye are of your father. What is Esau? Ye are of your father. What is Ben Jesus? Ye are of your father. The Lord said, Ye are of your father. We. The devil. The what? The devil. He what? The devil. Who is he? The devil. Who is his father? The devil. The Lord said, You are of your father, the devil. So you are not of the holy and the royal bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Right. Right? I was baptized three weeks ago. I had to Okay, what does that have to do about the scriptures? Christ is within you. So let me ask you a question. If Christ is really within you, right, what, how does Christ feel about these actions right now? Right? Who did that to these people? The devil did it? Well, what race of people did that to those people? Hey, there's evil everywhere. You know that. I'm asking you a simple question. Can you answer that question? Who did this to those people? No, turn, turn it around, Zach. No, turn it around. Who did that to those people? The white man did. The white man did that. And you just, you just proclaimed that you are a white man, right? Yes. So your people did that to our people, right? So how did Jesus Christ feel about that? Right. What did Jesus Christ say would happen to the people that did that to his chosen people? Right. I repent for that. You so repent for that? I'll tell you that stuff. Hold on, how do you repent for that? Well, my great grandfather, he traveled down from Ohio, okay. fought in the Civil War. Okay. He lived, but I'm sure he had to kill people. Okay. So how do you show your forgiveness for him? Hold on, wait, hold on. Hey, I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking you though. Give hugs. Give hugs. You give hugs. give hugs. Can we show you what God said? Go ahead. All right. You already know what I want. Isaiah 49, 22. So we gonna show you how God said that you show your forgiveness, right? Right. We gonna show you true repentance. Because you said you repent for that, right? So we're going to show you true repentance according to the Bible. And we're going to see if you are a liar or if you're telling the truth. So let me bring that up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 23. Before we even start, I'm going to ask you this. If we show you what God said, are you actually going to uh, put forth the actions? Well, 
well, you're probably going to quote something about me having to die or something like no, that. No, it ain't something. even about that. See, look, you jumping the gun. No, look, you jumping the gun. It ain't even about that. I ain't say nothing about you uh, dying, right? I'm asking you though. If we bring this out in the scriptures, are you gonna put forth the actions? Let me hear. All right, so bring this out. Verse 23, uh -huh. and kings shall be thy nursing fathers, right. and their queens thy nursing mothers. Right. They shall bow down to thee. They shall do what? They, they shall, shall bow, bow down, down to, to thee. thee. The Lord said, if you truly feel sorry for what your forefathers did to our people, the Lord said, you will bow down to the children of God. He said you will bow down to thee. No, you don't, do you understand what, do you understand what we bringing out? The Lord said kings, the Lord is speaking to the nation of Israel through the prophet Isaiah. He said, kings shall be thy nursing fathers and thy queens, thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to us, the children of Israel. Okay, let me give you some context right here. All right, bring it up. Verse three, and said unto me, uh -huh. thou art my servant, O Israel. Oh, who? O, o Israel. Israel. God talking to? O, o Israel. Israel. O Israel. So go back to that. Uh, that, uh, verse 23 right. and kings shall be thy nursing father right because at one point in time we had to nurse your children during slavery right right, right? while we was on the slave plantation your people made our people who are served your children we had to feed your children we had to entertain your children right so the lord said in the kingdom of heaven those words those roles go reverse right so you will have to serve us we and their queens, thy nursing mother, right? they shall bow down to thee. The Lord said, you have to bow down to us, right? For all the evil and all the wickedness that your people did to our people. Right. For lynching, right? Raping, robbing, murdering, right? You have to pay for them. So the Lord said, if you truly feel sorry, you will bow down to the nation of Israel, right? So are you gonna bow down to the children of God? I am the nation. But you are not. You are the. You are. You just said that you call Caucasian, right? God has spoken to me. He loves me. So I follow him this way. I have. A, I have a king and I have a queen and I bow down to thee. So you not. So you go just disregard that scripture. I will listen to your word. I will. Hold on. You. Wait, I will love you. Hold on. But I ain't gonna say something I'm not. Hold on. They shall bow down to thee. So we go cut to the point. If you don't feel sorry for that, just say that, right? And you just come out and say we don't. I don't feel. Hold on. Hey, just come out. Just yeah, come out I, and say. I, I, just come out and say. I don't feel uh, feel sorry for you niggas. Just come out and say. Oh. Just say I hate you niggas. I don't feel sorry about All that. Right. Just you. tell the truth. You. you love us. Yeah. If you love us, you will bow down like the scripture just said. Right. That's right. God's giving me a commandment. No, God is telling you to bow down like God. the heathen that you are and serve the children of God. Right. 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 You are a heathen in the eyes of the Lord. Right. Your people are wicked and profane in the eyes of the Lord. Right. Your people perpetrate and portray all type of wickedness and sin upon the face of the right. earth, right? We are the holy and the righteous seed oh, of the man, Most High. The Lord said, if you truly you feel sorry, you, you will bow down, no, just, just man. Just hey, get away from my brother, man. He's talking to you. Yes, get away from my brother, man, right? So if you truly feel sorry, you will bow down to the nation of Israel. Right, bring it up. And lick up the dust. That's why the Lord said the wicked flee, man, right? See, all these simple Negroes, right? Hey, they, they go believe that damn thing, right? They go say, oh, man, he, and he said he feels sorry, man. He said he a child of God, right? But you see that? The so-called white man, true colors always come out, man. Like the so-called white man just show you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that he can get blessed in the damn about our people, right? right? Every time the truth come out, these devils take flight, man, right? All he had to do was get on his knees and bow down and lick up the dust of the children of Israel's right. people, right? Right? But that's cool though, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna sweat it, right? Let me get Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 16, man. And I ain't gonna sweat it, man. I ain't gonna get mad. I ain't gonna get upset, because I know that day is coming, man. That day is coming when the Most High God is gonna give the servants spiritual power to hunt down all the people that oppressed our people, man. right? Right? So bring that out in Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. Bring it out. Book of Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 16. Right? Behold, I will send for many fishers. Right? And we are trying to fish our people. We are trying to teach our people how to come back and serve the Lord. Read. Right. Say it the most high. Read. And they shall fish them. Right? After will I send for many hunters. For many what? For many hunters. For many what? For, for many, many hunters. hunters. So the Lord said he's going to send for many hunters, man. 
And on that day, the service of the Lord go hunt down the so-called white man, man. Right. The service of the Lord go hunt down all you uh, faggots, all you sodomites, and all you lesbians, man. Right. right? And all those that go against the words and the order of the Most High God, man. Right? Can you read it? No. And they shall hunt them. And they shall do what? And they shall hunt them. What we gonna do to that damn devil? And they shall hunt them. What we gonna do to the so-called white man? And they shall hunt them. What we gonna do to all these damn faggots and all these damn lesbians? And they uh, shall hunt them. The Lord said we gonna hunt them down in that day, man. Right? The Lord said in the book of Luke, he said all those that don't serve me, man, all those that go against the law, statute, and commandments of my heavenly father, bring hither and slay them before me. Right. Man. Right? So that was it on that? All right, go back to where I had you at. Um, uh, well, I'm going to get a couple more and I'm going to pass it up. All right. Yeah, bring out where I had you at. Let me get Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 9. All right. Bring it up. The book of Esther, chapter thir uh, 14, verse 15. Right. Thou knowest all things, O Yahweh. Right. Thou knowest. Thou, thou what? Thou knowest. The Lord said, Thou knowest. Read. That I hate. That I what? That, that I, I hate. hate. That I love. That, that I, I hate. That I hate the what? The glory of the unrighteous. Wait, what is gay pride? The unrighteous. The what? The unrighteous. So he said, I hate the glory of the unrighteous, man. Right. And that's all America promotes is the glory of the unrighteous, man. The glory of homosexuals. The glory of lesbians. Right. right? The glory of murderers, man. Right? That's all America promotes, man. Right? And it's high time for our people to separate from this folly and this madness. Right. right. Right? If I see another grown so-called black man walking down the damn street dressed like a damn female, I'm going to lose my damn mind. Bring man. it out. Right? This place is filthy and polluted, man. Right. Right? You got damn Magic Johnson. He got his son damn uh, six, 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 nine. Yeah, right. He damn six, nine. Six, hundred. Right? <laughs> With a damn, in a damn dress, man. With a damn wig on, man. <laughs> Got some damn makeup in his damn nails painted, man. Okay. That's madness, man. Right? You got the uh, damn Dwayne Wade and his son. Not, he he allowed his son to be a damn homosexual, man. Right? That's madness, man. Right? So finish that off the Esther. Come. I hate the glory of the unrighteous right, and abhor the bed of the uncircumcised. And the uncircumcised is representing all the other nations that are not Israelites, man. Right? So the Lord said, I hate the glory of the unrighteous. This is the glory of the unrighteous, man. Right? Don't you know, they said, uh, when you look at statistics, it's over 145 days out the year that's dedicated to the, uh, the glory of, of, of uh, gay pride, man. Right? Just think about that, man. That's, that's damn near half the year. Man. They got 145 days that's dedicated to gay pride, man. Right? Now, I mean, that's insane, man. They go to show you how, how hard they trying to uh, push this damn agenda, man. Right? Right? So the Lord said it's time for our people to separate from the ways of these other nations, right? right. That was it on that? Uh, All right. Uh, yeah, that was it on that. Bring that up. Where I had you at? Uh, let me get Isaiah chapter 1 verse 9. I'm going to get a couple more and I'm going to pass it up. Bring it up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 9. The shoe of their countenance. The what? The shoe of their countenance. All right, so this is talking about a sodomite, man. Right? And that's all you see on the streets of America, man. All you see is all type of sodomites, man. Right? Right? How many damn grown men we done seen out here with purses on today, man? How many damn grown men we done seen the high heels today, man? Right? How many damn men we done seen with dresses on today, man? Right? Keep reading. Do a witness against them. So the Lord said the show of their countenance, of their appearance, do a witness against them that what? And they declare their sin as so what? They declare their sin as Sodom. As what? As, as Sodom. Sodom. As what? As Sodom. Right? And we see many people declare their sin as Sodom, man. Right? Many women out here dressed like men, man. Right? Many men out here with a feminine spirit, man. Right? That's all you see on the streets of America, man. And that's why the Lord said this place is the city of confusion, man. Right? So let me get uh, where I had you at. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 9, man. Right? And let me get Genesis chapter 19, verse 24. 
Alright, bring that up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 9. What? Except the Lord of hosts has left us a very small remnant. Hey, what? A very small remnant. Who are we? A very small remnant. The Lord said, unless he have left in the last days a very small remnant. Read. We should have been as Sodom. As what? As Sodom. Uh -huh. And we should have been like Gomorrah. All right, so if the Lord didn't put it in our spirit, right, to come out here and rebuke his wickedness, and hey, we would have been in the world like everybody else, bro. We would have been out here smoking weed, getting drunk, partaking in uh, gay pride, right. partaking in all type of immoral activity, right? Partaking in idolatry. But the Lord said in the last days, he left a small remnant of prophets that's gonna come out here and teach his people, right? Right. to bring them back to the laws and commandments, huh? right? To come out here and warn our people to separate from the wickedness of the other nations, huh? right? So that was it on that? All right, let me get 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9, All right? All right? So the Lord said, this place is a spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah, man, All right? And just like Sodom and Gomorrah, America has to suffer the same fate, man. All right. All right? So let's see what the Lord did to ancient Sodom and Gomorrah, All right? So we came out here to give our people a preview of what's coming to America, man. All right, bring it up. Book of Genesis chapter 19, verse 24. All right? Then Yahweh reigned upon Sodom. He did what? Reigned upon Sodom. Right, so the Lord said he reigned upon Sodom. Read. And upon the Lord. Right. Brimstone and fire. What? And brimstone and fire. What's coming to America? Brimstone and, and fire. fire. The Lord said just like Sodom and Gomorrah, right, America is going to have brimstone and fire, man. Right? But this time it's going to be the ICBC, uh, ICBM missiles, man. Right? Read. From Yahweh out of heaven. Right, read. And he un overthrew those cities. He did what? And he overthrew those cities. Wait, what is the Lord going to do to Raleigh, North Carolina? Overthrew those, those cities. cities. What is coming to D.C.? Overthrew those, those cities. cities. What is coming to America? Overthrew those, those cities. cities. So the Lord has to overthrow these cities, man. Because these cities are filthy and polluted, man. Look at the streets of Raleigh, North Carolina, bro. Right. Look at the streets of Atlanta, Georgia. How many damn sodomites they got down there in Atlanta, man? How many damn trannies they got in the streets of Atlanta, man? Right? right, in the streets of uh, like down uh, San Francisco, man. Right? The streets of Philly, right? The streets of damn San Diego, man. Right? All these cities is polluted with all type of uh, 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 sodomy and homosexuality, man. Right? right? And that's why you got all these damn STDs and sexually transmitted diseases going around. Right. Right? So that was it on that. Right? So bring out where I had you at. And let me get Matthew 4 and 17. This is going to be my last one. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. So we came out here to teach our people the truth, man. And the truth is, if you a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American, and you partake in homosexuality, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right. Right? 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 Contrary to what your damn pastor tell you in the church every Sunday. Right? Oh, yeah, it's okay. Sweet Jesus, he... All you got to do is repent and have faith and sweet white Jesus go forgive you for your sins, right? Right? That's, that's the message that the pastor going to be teaching our people in church tomorrow, man. Right? But the true service of the Lord came out here to teach our people that according to the Bible, if you partake in that wicked lifestyle, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. All right, so bring that up. Know ye not that the unrighteous... So, hey, he said, know ye not. Like, you don't know this? And a lot of our people don't know this, man. Like the brother brought out in Hosea 4 and 6, the Lord said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right. So a lot of our people are ignorant to what we're trying to bring out. All right, so bring it out. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So straight up, the Lord said the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Right. Now it's going to go into certain categories that deem you to be unrighteous. Right. So the Lord said the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Can you read it? Be not deceived. Be not what? Be, be not, not deceived. deceived. We came out here to tell our people, be not deceived, man. Don't be deceived by your pastor. Don't be deceived by this government. Right? Don't be uh, deceived by the society. We be not deceived. Right? Neither fornicators. Neither what? Neither fornicators. Lord said, neither fornicators, man. Going into whoredom, right? Homosexuality, right? Lesbianism, right? The Lord said, be not fornicators. Read. Nor idolaters. Right. Nor adulterers, 
nor effeminate, nor what, nor effeminate, nor what, nor effeminate. The Lord said, "Our men are supposed to uh, man up in these last days." Man. Right. The Lord said, "If you are effeminate, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven." Man. Right. He read it. Nor abusers of themselves with mankind. That's all you see out here on these streets, man. That's what gay power promotes, man. Men abusing themselves with mankind, man. Right? We. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Shall what? Shall inherit the kingdom of God. So straight up, the Lord said if you partake in homosexuality, and if you are effeminate, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Right? See that? But our people are not going to learn this information in the church, man. Right. T.D. Jakes and Joel Osteen is not going to give this information. No. Right? right? So the Lord sent the sovereign these last days to wake up our people. And she got a cross with her. Right? So bring that up. Where I had you at? This is going to be my last one. I'm going to close it up. Bring that up. Book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, right? Yahawashah began to preach and to say, Repent. Do what? Repent. Do what? Repent. Repent. Re for the kingdom of the what? For the kingdom of the what? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Is that what? Is that hand? Is that what? Is that hand? So like we tell you, week in and week out, the kingdom of heaven is at hand for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? If you didn't know, you living in the last days, and if you want to escape the death, destruction, the famine, and the pestilence that's coming to the earth, you got to come back to the Lord. You got to repent. And you got to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, man, right? right? But with that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah and Shalom. Quam Yashem! Quam Yashem! Quam Yashem! Quam Yashem! Quam Yashem! Quam Yashem!